Now that video Steve just showed us, that's just terrifying. Now with crime going up, police say they need more officers. And it's no secret though that SPD is losing more than they are hiring. Today the mayor proposed a $2 million recruitment plan, but it doesn't have any incentive money to retain officers who are leaving the department. Fox 13's Matt Markovich here to explain the reasons why. Matt? And that's a big concern that people want to keep officers in the department. Now, there are a number of factors for that, including retention bonuses are subject to union negotiations. The department has lost more than more officers in the last two years than any other police agency in the state. But many of those same agencies have officer shortages, too, and have been rec offering recruiting bonuses for months, while Seattle has offered nothing. The exodus of officers from the Seattle Police Department is not letting up more than two years after the George Floyd protests that sparked the defunding movement. 106 officers so far have left this year, 31 in the month of June. The department is budgeted to lose 125 this year. The officers' union says it's going to be more like 214. And many more have left since the beginning of 2020. Now we're 500 cops down and we're losing more each day. This is such a crisis that I'm not sure they're taking it as serious as they should. We're looking at this new kind of officer. that. So we Mayor Harrell unveiled a $2 million recruitment plan that includes hiring and lateral bonuses, but no retention bonus to prevent officers from leaving. We know that financial incentives are critical. Seattle is late to the game compared to neighboring police agencies that have been offering recruitment bonuses for months. The mayor wants to offer a $30,000 bonus for a lateral hire from another police agency, $7,500 for a new recruit, making it the highest bonuses in the region. And I want to thank those that have stayed with this department. We cannot afford to lose another single officer, especially to other law enforcement agencies. Have you had any Seattle police officers? We have. That are on staff now? Yes. The King County Sheriff has hired six SPD officers since 2019, with two more in the hiring process. While I don't want to be a bad neighbor and, um, you know, take from my, you know, Chief Diaz, the reality is that, you know, officers are going to go where they think uh, it is better for them personally. A retention bonus for SPD officers is subject to collective bargaining and can't be offered right now because negotiations for a new contract are underway. There is a reputation about the city of Seattle not politically supporting their police department. It is palpable. The mayor's recruiting plan includes a marketing budget to change that. The city has a reputation for not appreciating its officers after the defunding movement and the comments by the city council. Isn't that the, really the biggest hurdle here to prevent people from leaving the department? If it was a good department to work for, people wouldn't leave. Yeah. So I don't, I don't speak for the officers. I'll let them tell you and others what the biggest hurdle for them is. To recruit and retain officers, the mayor is planning to use his charm. So I'm a pretty darn good recruiter, and I'm a pretty darn good leader. And I need them to understand my vision, because they have been demoralized and disrespected. So the Seattle City Council has to approve the mayor's $2 million recruiting plan, so that's not a given. The mayor said he's hopeful that it will happen but he's not hopeful a new police union contract that could contain retention bonuses will be in place before November. Back to you guys.